And this is our opportunity now as an audience to get ourselves prepared for our presentation today. And I see a lot of students sitting upright, hands folded on their laps, and their eyes are up front. We're always so terrific during these events. I thank you in advance for your time paying attention to your fellow classmates who are going to be recognized today for being so smart, behaving well. And when we think of smart students and smart people, and maybe our parents can consider too, historically some of the smartest people who are out there, many of us have probably think about one Albert Einstein. Wouldn't you say? He's somebody we all think is one of the smartest people to have ever graced the earth. Well, I just so happened to walk into Miss Strong's class when some students were doing some famous people reports, and I saw a young man doing his on Albert Einstein. And I was so impressed because of the nice presentation, but also because Albert Einstein was talking about learning and education. And so for today, I have invited that student to give a portion of his presentation to us so you guys thinking about learning and education, how important that is, especially as we celebrate some very smart and dedicated students today. So I introduce to you now, Ben Mayhew as Albert Einstein. of education. Well, when I was a boy in Germany, I hated school. My instructors made me memorize, memorize, memorize. Who can remember they have no heart in the matter? The most important part of learning is wanting to learn. Uh, the young kinders who are receiving awards today are showing a wonderful example that they want to learn. Bravo! <laughs> Just as important as mathematics and science. In fact, imagination is more important than knowledge. Knowledge is limited, but imagination is endless. <laughs> uh, learn all you can while time is still your friend. Work together peacefully, my young people, just to unlock the mysteries and puzzles of the universe. Time is now my nemesis. Uh, uh, I'm often in a bad heart. Hey, Jack, I'm not that to live. I must avoid everything worth living for. But Mr. Vosker promised me he would take me out for ice cream. Yeah, what? <laughs> Okay? The silly doctor, what do they know? Don't she not be the same? Albert Einstein. So he gave us just snippets of uh, what he presented to his class. Just a second grader, I'll mind you. Uh, the only thing is he didn't add that part about Mr. Walker and ice cream before. So that's, uh, I guess we have a date, Albert. 